Hey, hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, so today, mm -hmm. what are we talking about? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> well, we had just discussed, um, you know, there's, there's a couple things that we're dealing with that are pretty hard. And um, <laughs> it's on camera. Um, <laughs> and um, we wanted to talk about what are we dealing, what are we doing to cope with those difficulties? Yeah. Right. So do you want to say more a little bit about that? Yeah. So I don't necessarily want to unleash all the details, but um, we're definitely having a hard time with the kids, the challenges that they're, they're going through at school and in their behavior and in, in their experience of life really in their experience of life especially with Adrian so you know for his own sake and privacy I'm not gonna share details of mm -hmm. it but um, it's been really really difficult is what I wanted to say and express I guess it's been difficult to hold space for him and help him through the difficult time without having our personal reactions come in. And as a family of four, I guess this is the whole point of sharing is that it's sometimes really, really difficult to manage everybody's energy. So Marco is very vibrant and very happy and that happiness is sometimes also what seems like edgy or unfocused mm -hmm. or yeah. all over the place. Like he'd just come out of nowhere, interrupt. And, you know, for the most part, it's really happy and sunshine like energy, but sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feels more like a nervous energy. So that's some, some of the things we're dealing with. And Adrian's energy is a little bit more down sometimes, or really angry and fiery. And that's difficult to be with. And then, would you like to share your energy, <laughs> how you see it? How about you share how I... Okay, so I'll share my energy. Yes. Um, my energy is also very uh, intense. I, I'm intense. And... I guess I can be down as well, but not so much. It's like more like very just intense. Um, and one thing that I know, and that's what I wanted to share about is for me, what I see more clearly than ever before in my life is that I need more quiet time. Mm -hmm. And yep. that's really difficult when you have a family of four and kids young age and husband when you live in a two bedroom apartment in New York City, beautiful yeah. apartment, mind you, but nonetheless, it's still, it's still what so and, and what I need. How would you describe your energy? Um, it's like calm, then storm, unexpected. <laughs> it's wow. almost like that, right? <laughs> All right, can I say it? Sure. I, so I knew there was, <laughs> there was something there. I want him to speak for himself, <laughs> but then let me know. But, my experience of your energy is like a swirl like it's it's down 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 like it's a disconnect and avoidance kind of type like we're but not always and not always yeah i mean it, this is not <laughs> i'm not talking about anything yeah, yeah. being always always yeah. it's not like that for kids either but it's just that those are our yes. dips yes yes and, i can get that and this is the case in life in general, when somebody's in a reaction, what I call ego identity, but let's leave my work aside. Mm -hmm. When somebody is reacting, that promotes reaction in other people. Correct. And so if I'm reacting, then likely you're reacting, or one of the kids is reacting, because we're all pretty sensitive as well. So all that to say, to summarize it all, I think we're dealing with a lot behind the scenes that yep. has to do with different needs our children have Adrian dealing with post concussion, the daily headaches that he has, yep. Marco dealing with his celiac and the 
and and his energy honestly mm-hmm. which might be some lack of focus like we're actually looking into it nobody's diagnosed anything yet but you know we're looking at what that is and then we're dealing with ourselves and the you know what we're discovering about ourselves and our past and like that and how we're coping coping with, with all of that um all that to say is one of the things that I appreciate about when we do talk about these things is that you get the world that I'm in and you're willing to support me, whether it's to go out, (laughs) go exercise, go to an event with friends or even just go on a vacation and like that. And I really, really appreciate that. And it's funny that when you say that, every once in a while what comes up for me is how people will perceive that Mm -hmm. like even something as simple as i'm just not gonna name names but there are people that are very close to my life who say like oh you know you're never home Mm -hmm. that's hurtful you know especially when we're dealing with all that we're dealing with behind the scenes then managing perception on social media is now yet another thing yeah you know and, and i don't know if i learned that because you know, there was four boys in my house, right? My parents and four boys, and mm. it can get rowdy, it can get loud, and, and probably I learned um, that, like, the need for separation, the need for distance. Yeah. And I remember there's moments, like, even as a, ch- as a teenager, where I, they would be like, are we going to go get this movie and watch this movie? And I'd be like, no, I'm just going to go do my thing in my room. Yeah. Right? Not because I didn't want to necessarily see the movie but it was like just too much and I needed to take care of me in that moment yeah and and maybe I didn't uh, you know um, instinctively rather than like really consciously but um, but it I I, it's just it's like so important it really is and 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 I remember a couple of months ago I was talking with my stepmother about this because when, we, when I was a teenager, I remember my parents would take vacations on their own, just my dad and my stepmother. They would go for a week, um, you know, somewhere down south, whatever it was. And I remember the teenager always going like, well, why didn't they invite us? What, they don't like us or something now all of a sudden? Like, like that kind of a complaint, right? And, and I was talking to her about it, I don't know, a couple months ago, and she was like, we just needed a break. We just needed to, like, resource. We just needed to, you know, be able to relax not have to worry about anything for a week you know it was all you can eat the buffet is there we ate what we wanted we relaxed we didn't like had no plans and then to come back then and then deal with everything you know yeah um and you know vacation is not necessarily the answer at all times for any for everybody yeah right? i mean but on the vacation coming back to the same <laughs> problem is not stepping stepping away is one thing but not going and ignoring that the issue exists and in our case i mean that's what i told you i mean i can go on vacation right now but i'm coming back to what i perceive as some unbearable circumstances that need to really be dealt absolutely, with absolutely absolutely and so how do you research yourself moment to moment and one thing actually it's funny we're talking about this and i'm realizing um i started meditating mm-hmm. um daily now i right. mean i've been meditating for the last 20 years on and off a lot but um, i've started literally like getting up and not getting up but waking up and turning okay. the guiding meditation on and meditating for at least 15 20 minutes and one of the things that i am realizing and i think it's indirectly i think it's with all the work that i'm doing and sharing with other people and stuff is that it's almost like a desire to have it all figured out and have it flow uh, blocks any kind of action or access to action. So my saving grace has been to just choose to be calm in a moment, mm-hmm. choose to resolve today's issue, mm-hmm. like one day at a time, yeah. most literally. And I'm not trying to be you know, spiritual about it, but it literally is like a moment to moment. Because if I think about further than that it with what we're dealing with it just 
feels like a trap to me. Absolutely. So it's it's you know I understand trap and I understand how my ego works and, and it's just it's not it's not helping me. So moment to moment right now and I know with everything else that I dealt with when I've done moment to moment just breath and getting back to myself eventually like an idea kicks in and then and then it kind of unravels from there and then yeah. I just take action suddenly I'm in a different paradigm all together yeah, I really like that but um, but I think that's my conclusion right now that's where I'm at anyway yeah. if, if I'm in a different place I'll, I'll share it but moment to moment yeah I really like that I didn't think of it that way mm. it's good yeah it's good Anything else you want to say? Or no, I mean, I, I, I usually call. Yeah, let's, you know, I think it's a good, a good place to, to end today's episode. But um, I'm going to practice that this week. Maybe we'll have something to share about it next week. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you really think about it, I mean, okay, not to ramble on after we said we were going to complete, but if you remember when kids were younger and different milestones that we dealt with, especially with. Adrian because he was the first child and we had him for three years mm -hmm. before Marco was born like there was almost this sense of trying to get someplace and have it all figured out and then everything will change and then oh, yeah. we'll have to do it again so <laughs> the moment think, you got good at things everything so, changed <laughs> so I think we really have to empower just like what we do now there is no place to get to mm -hmm. there's just now and now and now and yeah. now yeah. and and that also includes that now I am going to step away right. and come back to yeah, so, anyway. exactly. Awesome. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, let us know in comments what you are getting out of these videos, if anything, or what you want us to maybe talk about or what you want to share with us. I would love to hear from you. Bye. See you next week. Bye.